are empowered to win. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. As Paul reminds believers about their spiritual conflict against the wiles, the schemes, and the devices of the devil, he reminds us to be strong, not in our own selves, not in our own intelligence, not in our own abilities, but he says, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. So you see, in our conflict against the enemy, in our battles that we have to fight, in, in, in the challenges that you and I are faced with, we are not contending just purely based on our own abilities, but we can be strengthened by God. We can be strong in the Lord and we can be strengthened with power that comes from His reservoir of strength of his might. And so you and I are actually empowered, supernaturally empowered to win. But you and I must tap into that. We must go to God and let him renew our strength so that we are being strengthened in God. We are empowered by the power of his own strength, the very strength that comes from God, the very might that comes from him. And that becomes part of us so that you and I can stand against all the wiles of the devil and overcome all the storms of life and overcome all the adverse situations and challenges. Things will come, but we can be strong in the Lord and we can be empowered with His supernatural strength and overcome and win. God has not positioned us in, a in order to be defeated. We are already in a place of strength and victory. We are fighting from that place of strength and victory. There is no reason why we should be defeated. We are here to win. You can win. No matter what you're facing, remember, be strong in the Lord and be empowered with the strength that comes from Him and proceed into your victory. God empowers you to win. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just ask right now for everyone listening that God, this moment, you will strengthen them. Let them become strong in the Lord and let them be receive power that comes from you, from your own strength. Let your strength become our strength. Let your empowering come into our lives that we can overcome whatever we are facing. I pray this, Father, for everyone listening. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.